recording right now. We're going to start by sitting in a very comfortable position. I hope you have a cushion or a brick or something that makes you relaxed. And we're going to close our eyes and relax the hands on top of the knees facing up. Very easy, just inhaling and exhaling to, to come to this present moment. I hope you have nice candles on or the heights on or like nice incense to make this experience more cozy. Closing the eyes. Having this peaceful feeling of being in the right place in the right time. Having a grateful feeling for taking care of the body, the mind and the soul by doing yoga. And having a happy feeling for knowing that you're going to feel happier after this. Inhaling fully, expanding the lungs and the belly. And exhaling fully, contracting, expanding out. Shoulders are relaxed, keep on breathing. Neck is relaxed, keep on breathing. Jaw, cheeks, tongue, face. Everything is relaxed. You have nothing else to do but being here and breathing. Very easy. Can you do something easy? Keep on inhaling and exhaling. Enjoying every breath. Enjoying the prana coming in. Apana going out. Bringing your palms together in the middle of your chest and rubbing them vigorously. Trying to create heat between your palms. If you don't have this heat, then maybe wrap them vigorously more, fast, faster. And then once this heat exists, you just created heat. You're going to place it exactly in front of your anahata, inhaling fully, exhaling, inhaling to begin. Om. Namo Guru Dev Namo Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Guretname, Jugat Guretname, Sat Guretname, Siri Guru de Vename, Hat Guretname, Jugat Guretname, Sat Guretname, Siri Guru de Vename, Hat Guretname, Jugat Guretname, Sat Guretname, Siri Guru de Vename, inhaling fully. Holding the breast, pressing your palms, extending the neck up, applying Mula Bandha. If you're not pregnant during your moon cycle, you're going to squeeze the first, the second, and the third chakra. You're going to hold the breast and then the energy up to the spine and then into your aura. And then you're going to exhale. Relax the hands on the knees. 
Take another big inhale without opening your eyes. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Very slowly, you're going to open these eyes. I'm going to check that everybody has the playlist. And we're going to start with a very gentle warm up. And you're going to play for me the first song. The warm up, we're going to do a pranayama and two exercises. And the first exercise goes like this. We're going to do whistle breath for five minutes. Whistle breath is a very beautiful and calming breath. And you basically need to make a pocket mouth O shape. And make the inhale in such a way that you whistle. And then you exhale through the nose. And then exhale through the nose. That's what we're going to do for the next five beautiful minutes given by God. Relaxing the hands and the knees, eyes closed. Inhale through the beautiful mouth. Exhale through the nose. Slowly, very slow. Your eyes are closed. Music explain. You enjoy breathing. And you smile at the same time as you breathe. Make that whistle count. Eyes closed. Exhale deep. Inhale deep. Do not rush. Wet your lips if you need to make that whistle sound. And keep your eyes closed as much as you can. Whistling, calming the body, bringing peace. Wherever you are, bring peace to you now, peace. As if you were sleeping yourself. Shoulders relaxing, wrist relaxing. Keep on breathing halfway there. How long can you whistle? How long can you inhale? Concentrate. Take your time.
keep on rise one more minute Controlling of the breath, pranayama, very important first stages in the eight limbs of Patanjali in order to achieve the highest state of samadhi. Can you control your breath? Can you only control your breath? Thirty seconds. Keep on controlling your breath. And you refine it for the next 15 seconds. Last one. And when you're done, you're going to inhale through both nostrils. Exhale both. Nice. You're going to open your eyes. You're going to open your arms wide. You're going to bring the right in and then open the right and bring the left in and open the left. And we're going to alternate this movement for some seconds. This is just a warm up. So close your eyes and just try to coordinate hand center, hand out. Inhaling fully, activating the heart center and also the lymph glands. We're going to work on the lymph glands today. Using your breath. Eyes are closed. And you create a rhythm. Really extending the arms and bending the hand to the heart. Using your breath. Nice. Inhaling and exhaling deep. One more minute here. Spine straight, chest forward. Navel point in. Very simple movement, just warming up. 20 seconds. Calming the body, grounding yourself here. There is no other here, there is no other now. Hello. 
Hello, present moment. I am exactly where I am supposed to be. I cannot be in the past, I cannot be in the future. I am here right now, moving my arms, breathing in and out, paying my respects to the planets and the universe and the body and the invisible energies that my senses cannot see. Bringing both hands to the heart center, taking a big inhale. Exhale. And now on the next, we're gonna inhale and hold, inhale. Hold the breath. Exhale, relaxing the hands down, inhale, exhale, beautiful, the last warm up before we dip into cleansing our lymph glands, we're going to do a nice up workout, it's called a victory pose. So you're going to basically sit on your back, remove the butt cheeks, give a little shake to the legs, and then you're going to lift the right and the left in 60 degrees, and you're going to extend the arms forward like this. So I always suggest go first with one leg and then with the other one, but if you would just want to go with both and then extend the arms, here we go. We're going to do some little variations there. Are you ready? I am. Inhale up. Hands forward, extending the legs, looking at your toes. Try to make the feet together so they stay longer. Ground, navel point in. You're gonna lift the right arm up and down. Then the left up and down. Then both up and down. Then the right again up and down. Navel point in, left and down. Both up and down and stay there, breathing. And now legs should be shaking. Can you extend them better? Can you point the toes? Try. Suddenly you have more strength. Can you put the navel point in? Can you lower the legs down and up and again and up? One more time and up. Stay, open, close and lower and forward and try to come a little lower feeling the stretch inhale and exhale grabbing your ankles really stretching here this creates mostly all in easy pose so we're not going to move the body so much today inhale and exhale Nice. Sitting back again, shaking the legs. Beautiful. We're gonna come into our heels. We're just gonna open the hips for a moment. I just think it's important. Nice, so the hands are in prayer pose. The eyes are closed and you're pushing with your elbows to the knees. Inhaling and exhaling, standing straight like this. Just holding this asana. Closing the eyes. Trying to stretch the spine up. Feeling the stretch, pressing the palms. Keep on pushing with the elbows. Keeping your eyes closed, this is just a warm up. 
We're going to work on the lymphatic system today. Lymphatic system is like a subsystem of the circulatory system with the difference. Keep the eyes closed. That this system doesn't have a heart to pump. So that's important that we open and we move and we activate these glands. They have the main function of creating balance in the body by collecting excess of fluid and matter from organs, tissues, and put them back into the bloodstream. So it's like a cleaning thing. And also through the lymphatic system, we have these amazing defending cells, the lymphocytes. So it's a very beautiful, important system that we have very, 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 very wide through the body, located mostly on the neck, armpits, groins, middle of the lungs, around the guts. And that's what we're going to move today. Keep on breathing, inhaling and exhaling. Trying to imagine for a moment where these lymph glands are, how these lymph nodes look like. It's a complex system of vessels and tissues and organs. Our body is so complex that we can understand it still and we can activate it still. And today we have decided to activate our lymphatic system and balance our energies. Inhale fully. Exhale. We're going to place the hands on the floor, stretch the body up. Nice. Shake the legs if you need to. And we're going to start with the first exercise. We're going to do mostly in easy pose. So probably sitting on the mat is a good idea. And I will ask you to be my DJ to start this Kriya. Cleansing the lymph glands and energy balancing name is called. And I'm going to ask you to play the song that says Transit from Albanotto, really amazing musician or music producer. The first exercise goes like this. Time in being seated like a good Kundalini yoga teacher. Arms are going to be forward parallel to the floor, with the palms facing forward, but you're going to separate them 60 degrees. The movement is going to be like this. We're going to start with the right hand. You're going to rotate the hand around the wrist, only the right hand. The left stays like this. So I repeat, parallel, 60 degrees between each other, rotate the right palm around. I hope you play, play. And you're listening to the beautiful sounds I selected for you. This is a more refined Kriya. This demands a lot of focus, imagination. Some other Kriyas demand strength and stamina. This demands this. And you keep on rotating the right hand around the wrist and trying to keep the arm straight. Can you isolate your hand from your wrist? Eyes are closed, focusing on the third eye if you can. Keep on breathing. Shoulders away from the ears. Big smile in the face, sending signals to the brain that you're happy. I am so happy today. Left hand does not move, right rotates, almost there. Circling your arm, your hand. 30 seconds. Keep on rotating, inhaling fully, exhaling. This activates the thyroid and parathyroid powerfully and moves the chi energy in the body. 
Think about a little dance to the universe that you're doing or performing without judging or analyzing. What am I doing here? You're doing something that your mind cannot understand. And then you extend the right hand facing up and you begin to do the same thing with the left. Dancing to the universe. Keep the arms straight. Try not to bend the elbow. Right wrist, bend it facing up, fingers left rotating around. Inhale, exhaling. Breathing in, breathing out. Moving energies, so subtle perception you need to have to understand what you're doing now. Keep on moving the palm around your wrist. Nice. Eyes closed, 30 seconds. Keep on moving the palm around your wrist. Like a massive attack song or something. Keep on moving the palm around your wrist. Keep on moving the palm around your wrist. And then you stop, both palms look up, take a big inhale. <laughs> Hold the breath, apply Mula Bandha. If you're not pregnant during your moon cycle, you wanna activate your earth, your fire, your waters. Exhale, relax the hands and the knees. Inhale and exhale. Notice the expansion on the lungs. Keep the eyes closed. So subtle. Next exercise of six. You're gonna extend the arms in front of you and the arms can bend. They do not have to be straight. You're gonna clap your hands non-stop for two minutes. You're gonna feel a lot of fire in your hands and you're gonna activate a lot of little nerves endings in your hands. Are we ready to clap? <laughs> Closing the eyes, inhaling fully. <laughs> Exhaling, here we go. You can bend the elbows. But you cannot stop clapping. Think about something that you really want to celebrate. Oh, I celebrate life. I celebrate my healthy body. I celebrate my studio. I celebrate my students. I celebrate my family, my love, my city. I celebrate my glands. Thank you, glands, for being there, for defending me from viruses and things that I don't want to come in. Congratulations, pure, pure congratulations on you. Keep on clapping, we need one more minute clapping, you can not stop clapping, keep on clapping, clapping, clapping. Use your breath, you can bend the elbows, remember you can cheat and bring the hands near to you if you want, but you cannot stop clapping. Keep on clapping. You cannot stop clapping, keep on clapping, 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 fast, 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 keep on clapping. Congratulations, congratulations, congratulations for clapping. You're almost there, only 20 more seconds, keep on clapping. Maybe extend the arms in front of you now, instead of bending them, extending, keep on clapping. 10, 
Exhale, keep the hands where they are. Inhale. <laughs> Hold. Exhale, keep the hands where they are. Last time, inhale. Hold. Exhale, relax the hands on top of the knees. Beautiful. Feel the power in the upper chest opening. Keep the eyes closed as much as you can, trying to go inwards yourself to listen to the inner sounds of the body. This is an inner work. Yoga is about uniting, uniting yourself with your higher self. So don't let thoughts from outside come in in your practice. Try to connect with what you're doing. That's why you take an hour and a half of your life to do this. Connect with the little exercises, not with the next, not with the past. And then slowly opening your eyes. The next exercise, you're gonna extend the arms parallel to the floor with the palms facing down. And we're gonna alternate between bringing the palms up, middle and down. So the three stages have to be very, very clear. Up, middle, down, middle, up, middle, down, middle, up. And we're gonna do this for a while. So 20 centimeters distance around each palm, facing down, shoulders away from the ears, feel relaxed, inhale fully. Exhale, here we go. Up, middle, down, middle, up, middle, down, middle, up, middle, down. Make those stages clear to your pace. It's not specified, it has to be fast or slow, so just make them very clear when you're there, when you're there, and when you're there. Lots of coordination. All your focus here as if you were doing a performance or dance hand to somebody. Can you do this? Middle up, middle down, middle up, middle down. Keep the 20 centimeter distance between each hand. Beautiful, keep on bending that palm halfway there. Middle up, middle down, middle up, middle down. Keep on moving the palms. Keep on concentrating, try not to bend the fingers. You're only bending the wrist. Keep on breathing. Your breath is your energy. Everything is about the breath. Everything is about the breath. Mm.
30 seconds. You can do this. Now hand center facing down, take a big inhale. Hold the breath, apply Mula Bandha, contract anus, sex organ, navel point, send energy up. Exhale, relax the arms down over the knees. Take a big inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. You're gonna open your eyes. You're gonna keep on sitting in easy pose, so why don't we stretch the legs for a while and give them a little shake? You're gonna extend the arms to the sides and from the hips, you're gonna lean backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. So really concentrate that you're moving the body from this area and the body up just follows. This is the movement that we're gonna do. Chest open, focusing on the hips, closing the eyes, palms facing down, arms parallel to the floor, lean backwards and forward. From the hips, so all of your focus is there. So if you can guide the body. Beautiful. Keeping the spine straight. Think about your glands. Think about the groin. Your moving parts of the body that would move or activate without you moving them. Hello, glands. Thank you, glands. Eyes closed. Keeping spine straight. You can challenge yourself by leaning really backwards if you want to challenge. And then from your core coming forward. Eyes closed, focusing on the third eye. Beautiful, halfway there. Spine straight. Feel the tension in the inner thighs. That's what we're activating now. Thirty seconds. Of course, you can keep on opening the chest, extending those arms. Maybe you want to challenge yourself a little bit and really go backwards, using your core to come forward. Fifteen. Now time goes by. And ten. And eight. And six and four 
and to come center, take a big inhale. Hold the breath, apply Mule Bandha, contract. Exhale, relax the arms over the knees. Keep the eyes closed and feel what you feel. You're going to open the eyes. We have two more exercises. You're going to interlace the hands in Venus lock. For the women, you interlace the fingers and the right pinky finger is the last one and the right thumb presses on the left, mound of the left. And for the men, you interlace the fingers and you lift the left pinky finger last and you press with the left thumb on the right mound. We're going to do this exactly on top of the head. We're going to twist right and left continuously with inhaling and exhaling naturally. There's no inhaling left or right. Just keep on moving and you can begin. Eyes are closed. Hands are relaxed on the crown. Elbows open, twisting right and left. Listening to the inner sounds of the body. Keep on moving. Really twisting, head follows. Enjoy this beautiful twisting. Opening the chest. Flexing the spine. Hello glands between the lungs, hello glands, don't forget to breathe, one more minute, do not stop till my voice says so, we're doing this recipe exactly as it came to us and we expect it to work delicious as a brownie cake Keep on twisting. Of course, you can do this only 30 more seconds. Enjoy this beautiful activation of energy. We're going to move it in the next exercise. So generate energy with me for 20. Fifteen. And then you stop center, take a big inhale. Hold the breath, apply Mule Panda. Send the energy up into the higher chakras. Feel the energy crossing your palms on the top of the head, burning. Exhale. Hands come down. Keep the eyes closed and feel. Keep the eyes closed and feel. Now open your eyes. We're going to do the last exercise of this beautiful Kriya that has 
two stages. The first stage is how the arm, like we did in the beginning, forward 60 degree separation. When the right goes up, the left goes down. So this is the movement that is gonna be movement number one. Movement number two is we're gonna be opening and closing the arms at the same time. So they go backwards and they come forward. And when arm goes up, the other one goes down. And then you repeat, they go backwards. And when they reach the maximum backwards, they start coming forward till they reach the parallel in the front and then we repeat. Last exercise, here we go, activating the glands for protection against any disease. Inhaling fully, exhaling. Right arm goes up, left goes down and repeat. Opening and closing at the same time as you move up and down. Use your breath. Generate a nice rhythm. And I try to do it a little slower. Once you have the pace, try to do it slower. The arms will get heavier, yes. This is the advanced version, very, very slow. Nice, halfway there. Can you do it slower? One more minute. Last exercise. Give it all. Concentrate. Activate. Move the energy that you created on the exercise before. Balance it. We're working on your aura as well. Imagine an amazing round energetic feel around you and you touch him with the tip of your fingers. That beautiful invisible bubble you're scratching you're touching you're energizing balancing protecting creating a shield hello shield no this is can touch my shield because it's shining and it's strong 15 seconds time goes by Caressing your shield, smile in the face, five, four, three, two, one. Hands in front, parallel facing down, big inhale here. Hold the breath, fly Mula Panda. Exhale, hands on the knees. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. You're going to slowly open the eyes. Hmm. You're going to prepare for a deep relaxation. You can choose the song that I chose for you, or you can choose silence or your own song. It's called Midnight Radio Track 2 from Vorden and the Club of Gore. Really interesting band. If you're cooking and you're making something nice, you can always play this music. If you're getting romantic with someone as well. Putting your sock on. Suckers. Making yourself cozy. 
preparing to deepen down into the alpha theta waves of doing nothing. You're gonna lay down on the mat and you're gonna let the hands facing up. Relax. You've been working on the arms a lot today. The feet are gonna fall apart. And the mind is going to stop, maybe. You're going to lay down and relax. Here we go. Relaxing, inhaling. And exhaling, doing nothing but this right now, enjoying, relaxing, doing nothing but this right now.
And very slowly you're gonna start to rotate your feet and your palms in circles, keeping the eyes closed. You wanna stretch your arms over your head and you're gonna push the feet in the opposite direction. And then you're gonna grab the left knee with your right hand, bend it over the straightened leg, open the left arm, look with the head to the left, press the knee. Extend the left, grab the right knee with the left hand, place it over the straight and left, open the right arm, look right, press, feel the stretch, enjoy, and then bring the feet, the hands in the air and wrap the soles of your feet and your palms vigorously. And then bring the knees to the chest. Really try to bring the knees to the shoulders. And then move right and left, right and left, right and left. And then forwards and backwards a few times till you can come up into a seated position for the meditation. So I selected today a meditation uh, that is called Eliminate Tension and Stress because I've been very tense and stressed this week. No idea why. Probably the planet's conjunction on Monday. So we're going to call to this Jupiter expansion energy. You're going to play the song that comes after Midnight Ride Radio. It's a song from Affleck's Twin that it's very interesting for Meditate. I think so. And this uh, meditation has three stages. The first stage, we're going to just place the right elbow in the right knee and we're going to cover the face with the right hand and relax the left on the knee. And we're going to stay here as if we were thinking about something, but we're not. We're going to relax. The second part, I will tell you to twist or cross the Saturn and the index finger and then the thumb crosses. I will explain all this later anyways. And then with this hand, you're going to just leave the Jupiter finger. I will tell you this anyway. We're going to circle the arm. And then on the third part, we're going to create upper circles, upwards, inward circles. Let's stay with the first song in, eyes closing, focusing on the third eye, right arm on the right knee, covering as much of your face on your head as you can. Left hand relaxes on the left knee. You're going to stay here, breathing in and out. This generates a pressure on the liver. This is really good. Covering the cheek. Covering as much as face as you can with your right hand. Breathing in and out. Eyes. Close. Really relaxing the right elbow on the right knee. Putting all the energy there, trusting. Eyes closed, trusting. Inhaling and exhaling deep. Relaxing. Eliminating tension and pain and stress and calling the Jupiter energy for expansion. 
relaxing. Eyes closed, relaxing. Relaxing the face and the hand as if it was very heavy. Trusting. Relaxing. Relaxing Buddha, this is what we're doing, this is how it's called, inhaling, exhaling, coming up, sitting straight, slowly, with the left hand you're going to cross the index and the Saturn finger and then with the thumb you're going to lock the rest of the fingers and with the right hand you're going to leave the Jupiter finger out and with the thumb, you're going to lock all the rest. Am I clear? This left hand with the fingers crossed is going to be relaxed facing up on the left knee. And this hand with the index pointing and the thumb locking the rest is going to be aside the diaphragm. We're going to generate circles with the index finger pointing up. Beginning now, eyes closed. We're experiencing the Jupiter energy of projection and expansion. We can feel it even now. Monday, 7 o'clock, Jupiter is meeting Saturn. Big conjunction happening. Calling to this energy. Hello. Hello, Jupiter. Hello. Creating circles with your index finger, non-stop, breathing in and out, left hand Jupiter and Saturn crossing, loving, kissing, meeting there now, keep on circling. Imagine Jupiter as a living planet listening to you now, sending radiance and power and energy now through the tip of the Jupiter finger in. Hello. Hello, Jupiter. Keep on circling. Focusing on the third eye, you can do everything at the same time. Yes, you can. Keep on circling that finger. Keep the elbow in. You can always smile.
Keep on breathing. We have some more seconds here. And then we're gonna get rid of all the tension so that we can leave relaxed. Tension stops and blockages us. We don't need blockages. Keep on circling that Jupiter finger. Inhaling and exhaling. And you go a little faster, expanding that energy faster. Everything is going faster. And stop, inhale fully, hold the breath, point that finger up into the heavens, exhale, relax the mudras of both hands, facing up on the knees, last part of this meditation, I close, you're going to bring the arms, inner circles upwards, creating circles with your arms and your hands, releasing any tension, bye-bye. Enjoy last twenty releasing any tension. Ciao, 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 ciao. And then you stop. Relax the hands and the knees, inhale. Hold that breath. Exhale. Relax, stay there. Eyes closed. Feeling how the body feels now. Do you feel that something changed? Can you monitor with your perception if something actually has changed? Very slowly, you're going to open the eyes and place stop so that we can tune out with three beautiful satnams. You're going to bring your palms together. You're going to create heat in front of your heart center with both palms rubbing very, 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 very fast. 
And then you're gonna grab this seat, you're gonna place it exactly in front of your beautiful living heart. You're gonna take a big inhale and exhale. Inhale for Satnam. Satnam. to the third eye for intuition back into the mouth for truth and then back into the heart center for love compassion and awareness and if you want to bend forward as an act of gratefulness placing your forehead on the floor and then pulling the body up with the strength of your beautiful navel point do another inhale here and exhale here Going back into the 3D dimension, three, two, one. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you for joining. I hope you like the class. I prepared with a lot of love.